Hello and welcome back to Bigfoot Lake. Uh, it's been a while since we've recorded anything and as some of you may know, um, my family and myself, we, we got hit pretty hard with uh, COVID. So uh, we're not completely back to normal, but we're headed in the right direction. So uh, tonight, if my voice is a little bit strained, uh, that's the reason why it's still not back to 100% yet, but we carry on anyway. And tonight, uh, I think you'll enjoy this encounter. It's We only have one encounter uh, of a Bigfoot that was, this sighting comes from the state of Arizona. So with that being said, uh, pull up a stump and sit back as we dive into this encounter from back in 1987. I do not care what the skeptics say. I saw one in 1987. The encounter happened in May of 87 at Painted Rock Reservoir, about 30 miles northwest of Gila Bend, Arizona. My four friends and me were on a weekend fishing trip. The only one with the rifle was me. So, I was responsible for the group. We arrived at the lake at about 5.30 p.m. and loaded ourselves down with our supplies to stay overnight, right up against the face of that dam. As we walked the distance of about 2,000 yards to the dam, through salt cedars taller than us, we knew we were there for the night. No chance walking out in the dark. The dam was very high, and to the north of us was a sheer cliff a few hundred feet high. The dam to the east and south was impassable salt cedars and only one way in to the west, which you did not want to try to navigate at night with all the rattlesnakes and other wild animals around such as the coyotes and mountain lions. As I said, we knew that we were in there for the night. Just before dark, we all saw special forces personnel on quad runners and three-wheelers with high-powered weapons and tranquilizer guns, but at the time, we didn't really pay them any mind. We were after catfish. Everything was fine until about 2 o'clock in the morning. We heard strange rumblings in the bushes all around us. And it was rather unnerving because I was the only one armed, and that was only with a 410 single shot shotgun. The noise finally stopped and I dozed off. To my surprise, this was a night with a full moon, so besides our Coleman lantern, you could see pretty well. I was laying there half asleep, and it all of a sudden got dark, and it awakened me to see this huge hairy thing not 10 feet above me. I shiver to this day just writing you about it. All I said was, oh great, a damned Bigfoot. I thought I was dreaming, but I was not. There it was, right above my head. I got to my feet and took off into the darkness. I cannot be sure, but it looked like a female because it had what appeared to be mammaries. One of my friends was just outside the camp taking a relief and I yelled to him to look out. He came running back into camp scared to death. Evidently he ran straight into it coming back to camp. By this time we were all wide awake and my other three friends were armed with nothing but hunting knives and we all stood guard in all directions. We were boxed in and no way out until daylight. Then came that god-awful yell and we were absolutely scared out of our skins. The rumbling in the bushes returned and then we heard the fish in the slough going crazy and we found out why. Not 15 feet from us stood this huge creature in the middle of the water. This thing stood about nine feet tall. I know because I stand about six feet tall and that water came right up to my neck. 
but on this creature it barely came up to its waist. We were terrified as it looked, stood there looking at us. I did not want to shoot, God help me, because I was not sure. It looked almost human. I was keeping my rifle pointed at it just in case. Then our lantern started going low on fuel and we had no backup light except our fire. We soon found that the bright lantern light was the only thing keeping it back. Lantern low on fuel, we decided to build the fire as high as we could and refuel the lantern fast. My friend did so and I held my shotgun on it. Just as the lantern went out, it charged straight for me. So I fired at it point blank range dead in this thing's chest but it did not go down my friends got the lantern going again and there it stood holding the right side of its chest it just looked at us and then turned and cut through the wet the waist high water 25 feet to the opposite shore in seconds and it crashed through the trees and started yelling again about this time it was approximately 4 30 a.m. We were praying for the sun to rise so we could all get out of there. When morning came, we investigated and we found the footprints and we found blood from whatever this was. We saw the hole the thing made when it crashed through the trees the night before and it was big enough for us to walk through, no problem. We did not stick around. We got the hell out of there. As we made our way to my truck, we saw two special forces agents. One remarked to the other, Well, at least one of those guys was smart enough to be armed. We said nothing and we got the heck out of there. Nobody believed us when we re reported our encounter to the police and the game warden. Here is the funniest part. Two days later, the game warden tried to arrest me for shooting an endangered species. <laughs> when I told him, you arrest me, but first you have to tell me what it was I allegedly shot. He then backed down from arresting me, but told me to stay where I could be found for further questioning. I swear I am not making this up. It actually happened and I really fell apart two weeks later on my birthday. My brother showed me a sketch of what we had seen that was not accurate deliberately so he would know with my completing the sketch we had, had really had this encounter. To this day it still scares me to death. I was 31 years old back then but today I can still see and hear it as if it were yesterday. So that concludes our encounter from the state of Arizona. So what do you guys think of this encounter? Um, the thing that stood out to me was I guess the shooting. Um, what do you guys think about that? He did say this creature charged him. <coughs> so I guess that changes the dynamics quite a bit. I guess if some strange creature comes charging out of the wilderness at you and you have a gun, you're going to protect yourself. <coughs> so let me know what you guys think. And uh, let me know if you've heard of any other encounters from this area. This Gila Bend near the Painted Rock Reservoir in Arizona. Yeah, I'd like to get you guys' thoughts on that. And... Uh, Thanks again for being patient as we dealt with this this virus, this COVID. <coughs> like I said, I'm still not 100% uh, recovered. Definitely not with my voice. But overall, the family's doing well. And, and we are healing up. Just have some lingering, uh, I guess, junk to deal with. So thanks again for coming and uh, hanging out with us a bit tonight here at Bigfoot Lake. I uh, appreciate each and every one of you. Hope you enjoyed uh, tonight's encounter. And we will see you on the next.